In this video, we're going to discuss the difference between the alpha and the active return of a portfolio. So active return is just the difference between the actual return of a portfolio and the actual return of the market index. So let's say that we have a manager of a fund who's managing the portfolio and they earn a return of 13% by actively managing this portfolio. And the, the market index, let's say the S&P 500, has a return of 10% during that same time period. We'd say that this portfolio, there was an active return of 3%. However, this return does not account for the systematic risk of that portfolio. And so that's where alpha comes into play. Alpha is a risk adjusted measure of return. And alpha is the difference between the actual return of the portfolio and the return predicted by the capital asset pricing model. Okay, so active return was the actual return and the difference between that and the market index's return. However, the difference alpha is the actual return and then the difference between that and the return predicted by cap M. Okay, so capital asset pricing model, we've got the formula right here. So that's gonna tell us based on the risk-free rate, the beta of the portfolio, and then we've got our market risk premium when we put these together, we can actually tell, okay, what is the expected rate of return for this portfolio? And let's just say hypothetically that the expected rate of return for the portfolio was 11%, and we say, okay, there's a 13% actual return. In that case, we'd say, okay, well, then the alpha, the alpha of this portfolio, this manager, we'd say they had an alpha that they achieved of 2%. And so you could just add a little alpha here, sub P. So let me show you a more complex example. And, and if, I rearrange the formula here too if you want to know how to calculate for alpha. It's the same thing as above. I just rearranged the numbers to make it a little easier for you. So let's say we have a fund um, and we've got a risk-free rate of 3%. And then we have an expected return of the market of 11%. We have a beta of 1.5 for our portfolio. And then it turns out we have an actual return of 17%. So let's go about calculating our active return. So the active return is pretty simple. So we'll assume here that this uh, the market return was 11%. And the active return or the actual return was 17. So we just take 17 minus 11 gives us an active return of 6%. But again, this does not account for systematic risk, the beta. Think about it like this intuitively. The market went up by 11%. If the beta was one, then we would also expect the portfolio to go up by 11%. But the beta is higher than one. So when the market goes up by 11%, this portfolio should go up by more than 11% because it has a beta higher than one, okay? it's it's There's more risk than just the market portfolio. So we would expect that the return will be higher. So just knowing basically that, oh, it's 17 versus 11 doesn't necessarily tell us whether this fund manager did a good job or not. We need to adjust for the risk that was inherent in the portfolio. So how do we do that? Well, we take our formula here. We're going to solve for the alpha. So we've got the, the return of the portfolio was 17%. The risk-free rate is 3%. Then we plug in our beta, 1.5, and then we've got the market risk premium is 8%. Doing a little math here tells us that we have an alpha for this portfolio of 2%. So that is basically saying this is the portion of the ret excess return that is not explained by systematic risk. 